Hi, I'm Jim with Cyber Econ, talking with you some more about Security Plus and wireless attacks. Today we're going to jump in and we're going to talk about jamming. Jamming is part of domain 1 compare and contrast types of attacks, uh, subdomain 1.2 types of attack, and it's wireless jamming. This is when an attacker will broadcast noise across a wireless network. This increases the noise to signal ratio and causes a denial of service attack. In addition to be, being launched by an attacker, this could also be inadvertently caused by other appliances or devices around your wireless network. Uh, it can be an, an intentional attack or it could be something unintentional like a microwave or even fluorescent lights that put out a signal that could interfere with your wireless network. There's a couple different ways we need to know about jamming. There's a couple different types of jamming we need to be aware of. That's constant and reactive. In a constant attack, the jamming occurs all the time. It's continuous, it happens all the time. In reactive, the jamming only occurs when systems are trying to communicate on the network. It's also possible for interference from things like lights or microwaves to appear to be reactive jamming. So, in intentional jamming, we see Alice here connecting to the wireless access point that she normally uses. Hank the hacker is also there and he broadcasts a jamming signal across that wireless network that makes it impossible for Alice to communicate with the wireless network, causing a denial of service attack using jamming. Unintentional jamming has the same effect. Alice tries to connect to the network. In this case, maybe a microwave is being used and again, she's not able to connect due to the signal that's being put out by the microwave. It is possible for an attacker to use this type of attack not only to cause a denial of service keeping people from computing resources, but it may also be joined with something like a physical attack where the attacker may use jamming to disable wireless cameras and then conduct a physical attack. You should be aware of jamming not only as part of the Security Plus exam, but for your security career. As always, I'm Jim with Cyber Recon. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when new content comes out, and please leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you. As always, be safe out there, and we will see you next time.